Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I'm going to be trying out some new kit, I've got a new wetsuit and I'm going to be doing some snorkelling in the Lake District. I don't know whether you can see that but the water's probably about two or three foot deep there and it's crystal clear so uh, I should be able to have a good look around, should be good visibility. Right, let's get in the water. Right, I've got a few bits and pieces to go through here. I've got all my snorkelling gear there. Um, got a little pot there that's on a leash with holes in so when uh, you have that attached to you and you go under the water the water fills fills up in there and it doesn't float so it comes down with you when you go under the water and then when you come out of the water the water all drains out some more holes on the other side uh, that's an idea I got from Aqua Chigger and uh, Jake the Almighty they both use something like that when they find stuff under the water um, I've got a trash bag which I've made myself out of a mesh net and an old plastic coat hanger which is quite good because it flexes to be able to put stuff in then it shuts again so it's a bit uh, a bit rough but it does the job or at least I hope it does uh, I've got my SJ4000 on a selfie stick and I've got as well as my uh, full length wetsuit I've also got this extra sort of smock type thing it's a seven millimeter uh, wetsuit and um, it was part of a semi-dry wetsuit set but I just thought I'd try that on top of my full-length wetsuit should I need it um, I've also got a balaclava because I think it's going to be quite cold and then I've also made this which is similar to this made out of an old tripod so it's extendable I've got a hook on one end and I've got a magnet on the other end, which obviously gimbals to the bottom all the time. The reason I've made that is mainly for my kids, because when they're snorkelling they've got buoyancy aid on and they're going to struggle getting to the bottom, so with that they'll be able to pick stuff up, so that's what that's for. Right, let's get in the water.
right, I just spent about an hour and a half snorkeling there. It's quite cold. So I am shaking a bit, so I do apologise for that. And I found some pretty cool stuff. Found uh, pair, two pairs of shades. Uh, found an old sh uh, wetsuit shoe. A lot of trash, which I'll put in the trash bag. Oh, you have to excuse my shaking, I'm freezing. Um, I found a lot of fireworks. A lot of fireworks. Some uh, beer bottles. And then, in my little tub here, I found loads of trashy bits. But my find of the day has to be... The last thing I found, just as my camera battery ran out on the SJ4000, if I can just get it, because it is quite a good find, it was this necklace, it's, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's silver or not, but it's a necklace. Uh, found some batteries, a bot some bottle tops, another piece of jewellery, a globe bracelet. Oh god, I'm really shaking here. So, uh, so yeah, all in all, right, pretty okay. good. Now I'm back home, and I've warmed up, and the camera's not shaking. I'll take you through some of the stuff that I found. Uh, there was a lot of trashy stuff, old tin cans, old plastic bottles, some glass beer bottles, a bit of net. This, at first glance, I thought was a phone. Unfortunately, it was just a sardine tin. An old uh, beach shoe, not too dissimilar to my own, but it wasn't mine. A um, bit of string. Two pairs of glasses, sunglasses, Foster Grant, that one's got a bit of a bent arm on it, and these are Bolly. Don't know if that's a good make or not. A little bit of a clean up. Um, a glow stick, rubber ring, looks like a hair sort of bobble thing. Uh, I think I found lots of fireworks. These are all parts of firework. There was loads of these. But there was lots of fireworks, lots of firework packaging. Old battery, false fingernail, part of a fishing rod, I think that might be. Um, this, if I remember rightly, is a degorger or a disgorger used for fishing, for getting hooks out of fishes' mouths. I seem to remember them when I was a kid. Uh, these bits of molten aluminium, that one at first glance I thought was a, a skull ring, but uh, it wasn't unfortunately. Uh, a bit more molten aluminium, an old pipe nut, a Stella Artois bottle cap, but the find of the day and my last dive of the day had to be this. I just saw the chain in the in the sand and I dove down to get it and it turned out it had a little heart shaped pendant on it. So I was really pleased with that, I found a penny as well. And when I got home I checked this one out, it has got a little tag on it. Don't know whether you can make that out. Let's see if we can get close up on that. That is the Pandora logo. And it has S925 Ale on it. And when I did some research, that's 92.5% uh, silver. And that's the, uh, it's a Pandora heart charm necklace. So I was well pleased with that. So that was the find of the day. So that's what I found. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. And I'll uh, see you on the next video. 
hopefully not as cold <laughs> and not shaking as much. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.